she comes across like diamonds, diamonds, easy in love when the lights are low. She comes into focus, focus, the closer she gets, the more I know. She takes more whiskey than my wine, I wine. For my second trick tonight, I have a, a dusty box. Very dusty box. This has been in my possession since September of 2018. It is now nearing the end of July uh, 2019. So more than 10 months I've had this. It showed up on the shelf for a short time. September of last year and uh, after a couple weeks there was none of it left they never got any more of it it is an independent bottling it is the Cask Orkney from A.D. Rattray 18 years old limited edition it was quite limited it, it didn't sh didn't stay for long and uh, so the small batch release, product of Scotland, nonchal filtered in natural color. And uh, it's got a, quite a nice picture on the box there of uh, ancient megaliths, ancient megaliths from Orkney. Get this open. And here is our bottle. The Cask Orkney, 18 year old single malt, uh, product of Scotland, 18 years, 46% alcohol by volume, and distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland, AD Rattray. Uh, now the question is. It's a single malt, so it can only be um, from one distillery, and it can only be Highland Park or Scapa. Somehow I doubt that it's Scapa. I just, it doesn't say which distillery it's from. Anyway, it's got a lot of fine print on here which I'm going to read momentarily but first I think we should find the little pull tab if there is one there it is and uh, pull the tab so that we can uh, pour a dram and let it sit there for some minutes while I read what it says on there oh come on there's a foil on top of the there, okay, we got the foil off. Wow. For the cork. A tiny little pop. Twin quig size drum at 46% alcohol by volume. 50 milliliters and maybe a milliliter or two more, more or less. What's it say? Can I even read this? Wow, that lettering is small. I might have to get a new uh, prescription for my for my eyes. No, I think I can go another year. Okay, 18 years old. Poised between the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, the Orkney Islands are steeped in mystery. Legends are as tangible as the gales of winter and the sea horrors of summer. Indeed, just as the distinction between air and water is so often lost, myth and reality blur together. Emerging through time are the dancing giants of Brodgar, 
Oh, that would be the stones. The 27 standing stones between two locks overshadowed by surrounding hills. It is said that at night fearsome giants crossed the causeway and danced all night. Forgetting about the coming dawn, the first rays of light turned them instantly to stone. A.D. Rattray's limited edition Cask Orkney celebrates the Neolithic folklore with an exceptional single malt full of mystery capturing the island spirit. It is deeply engaging and perfectly balanced. Tasting notes. Nose and palate. I'm not reading them. I'm going to tell you what I get. A fine spirit, complex and balanced, it says, after all the tasty notes that I didn't read. And the nosing notes. And little Amsie Ivy. Okay. Cask Orkney. Oh, that's going to go in my island's... Uh, Infinity bottle, too. Hmm. Look at the legs. If there are any. Not really. Yeah, it just kind of dropped down. Getting some apple. It's apple and cinnamon. It's quite light. This is going to be a subtle one. Apple with just a trace of cinnamon. Some pear. Not giving that much on the nose. I think this one will benefit from the addition of some water. First, I'm going to taste the meat. I interrupt this video in post production to let you know how much this cost. 
lately I've been doing a lot of samples and I have no idea how much the samples are and so I forget to uh, pull out the bill of sale and um, let you know how much it costs. This one here, the AD Rattray Cask Orkney 18 year old, 700 milliliters, um, is $151.99. With the 10 cent container deposit, it's $152.09. The uh, goods and services tax uh, put on by the federal government of Canada, $7.60. The British Columbia provincial sales tax for liquor fifteen dollars and twenty cents grand total out the door a hundred and seventy four dollars and eighty nine cents yeah I gave them a hundred seventy five dollars in cash I got for change one thin dime one tenth of a dollar Mm. There's a lot more going on on the palate than there is on the nose. I'm getting a tingling. That was just the first sip. I'm going to have to do, do that again. It's light, orchard fruits, pear and apple. A little bit malty now. A little bit of marzipan, just a little bit. Almonds, marzipan. A little bit of maltiness now. Pears. Pears, maltiness. A bit of vanilla. Are they using old casks for this? I don't know. Definitely not. First fill experiment. I don't think there's any... If there's any sherry cask in there, it's, it's not much. Not getting that much in the way of fruits, in the way of uh, medium and dark and dried and, or ripe fruits. Bit of orchard fruits, that's it. But it's non chill filtered and natural color. It's got a little bit of a got a little bit of a reddish tint to it. Gold. Reddish gold. It's not very dark. 
Oh, there's a multi, a heft of malt. Oh, multi. I'm going to taste it again. On the palate, it's more fruity. I'm getting things like plums. Definite plum note in there. Plums. It's a fairly gentle drum. Maybe there is some sherry involved. Maybe just a little bit of sherry. I get that on the palate. Just a little bit of fruit. Okay. A little bit of something spicy. It could be a little bit of that no I don't believe it's peat it's more salty it's salty I'm gonna see what a little bit of water will do to it Two drops. Time may open this up too. But I know that it seems kind of closed up. Or maybe it's just light and subtle. It's a little spicy on the palate. And that spiciness and saltiness. Saltiness probably from maturing close to the sea. And spiciness is like white pepper. It lingers on and on and on. It's still got some of that white pepper spiciness uh, hanging on and hanging on. Okay, on the nose, now that I've added two drops of water. A lot more orchard, orchard fruits, pears. Pears, apples. Hint of spiciness, um, I guess white pepper, a little salty, but not much. Taste again.
fruity plums. Spiciness. White pepper. Once again, it's a little bit a little bit salty. That spiciness and saltiness hangs on. It's a long finish. But mostly the whiskey is subtle. I'm going to read these nosing and tasting notes because maybe time will open this up more. It's pretty light. It's well balanced, yeah. Okay, tasting notes. Color, olive gold. Nose, subtle and soft green apple and nutmeg. Wood spice, sea salt and hazy smoke. I didn't get much smoke. But nutmeg, mm -hmm. wood spice. Palette says toffee, peach, and apricot with a rich velvety texture, sweet background smoke, and a dry, nutty finish. Hmm. Interesting. I got what I got. It's going to take some time, probably, to open up and give me those peaches and apricots. Toffee? I'm not getting a lot of toffee. I'm not getting peaches and apricots as a stretch. I got a bit of plum. And they're calling that smoke. What I'm getting is spiciness, I suppose. A bit like an old Highland Park, but it's not. That spiciness, that spicy tingle, but peaches and apricots are a stretch. I think it needs to open up. I may have to come back to this at some time because it may be a candidate for revisiting after three to four months. Anyhow, Slanchava. Food Queen. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>